Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Measy Show. I'm the hostess with the Moses. So, uh, Lil Sodi just passed away, unfortunately, uh, August 4th, 2023. Uh, he was, uh, for those that don't know, he was from A Trey Gangsters in LA. Uh, he uh, worked with artists such as uh, Afro Man, Joe Moses, Lavish D, uh, Bosco 100, uh, the list goes on. Uh, he did some notable things. He uh, he got in, I guess, a fight with Young Bug. He put out uh, a couple albums, Too Good for Hell, Too Bad for Heaven in 2023, L.A. Gumbo in 2018, Story of My Life Back to the 80s, 2011. Um, he was well known for being somebody that was blackballed in the music industry, uh, but still kind of made his way. He didn't really let it stop him. He did big interviews. Uh, he... He's he's pretty uh, he's pretty well known for somebody that didn't have any industry backing whatsoever. Uh, he's been rapping for a while, but I feel like he was kind of like more like underground. But he was like a he was like a like a uh, how could I say like a somewhere between the both the industry and the underground. Uh. Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. I, he died in an accident. Um, I guess he went to his hood day the day before, and that was it. So, anyway, shout out to him and his family. Uh, you know, it's the cycle of life, unfortunately. we all born, and we all going to die at one point in time, you know. So, uh, shout out to Lil Sodi, uh, all his children. Uh, he just, you know what's crazy? He just lost a child, too. Uh, and then Charleston White's little punk ass is talking about, like, talking about the kid. Like, you're a weirdo. Anyway, that's pitiful. Uh, salute to Lil Sodi, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope uh, I hope your family, you know, maintains throughout this. And, you know, I wish them all the best. If you haven't already, please subscribe, comment, and like. Salute. Have a good evening.